Ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this for precautionary reasons. This is a very, very hot area. Number one, number two, what has uncovered happens to be a a very uh, a family pod, ladies and gentlemen. A family pod in an area that is very remote, and it's the real coy, the real deal. Okay, uh, he was out walking his dog, taking pictures. Do not disclose the area. Do not disclose the state or city. Take the story from here. Yes, sir. Um, I was out with my dog. Uh, my property is there, no location. And I was uh, taking some pictures. And uh, when I got home that night and went over the pictures, I noticed that there were two um, uh, Bigfoot uh, Sasquatches hiding behind the trees uh, watching me and my friend. So at first, you know, I may have thought, Somebody playing a joke on me. The next day I went out there to explore uh, my backyard, which is about 200 acres. So in the process of going out to explore see what was out there in the bush hiding, I discovered some pods or, or nets where we were the, the, the previous day taking pictures. And this was odd because I've hiked out there. I was living with this place for two years, and uh, I hiked there you know, every week, and I've never noticed anything like that. And it was right in my backyard, and they, they looked like a little a nest. So that was odd. So I continued to explore around the area to look to see, you know, maybe some kids are out there playing a joke or whatever. So I'm, I'm walking with my dog, and I had my camera with me at the time, my video camera. And as we come deeper into the forest, I notice a tree, a giant tree starts to shake. So I'm looking at it and I, I begin to videotape. And as I videotape, the tree comes crashing down, you know, not far from me. You know. Whoa. The tree I, you know, oh, I just caught a tree falling down on video. Oh my god. But when I got home later that night, I saw it clearly. There was some Sasquatches out there. And there was a, a reddish brown Sasquatch crouched next to the tree that fell. And you can see clearly on the video, this Sasquatch, I don't know if it's female or male, they punched the tree. And said to crash it down. They got up and walked away. And I captured this on the So, that's um, what happened. And um, it made me a believer. Thank you for your explanation. Number two, ladies and gentlemen, what, what he has, he didn't know what he had. He experienced it, and he filmed it in its entirety. And when he went home and scrutinized the film that he had taken, well, let me tell you, it was off the hook. You actually see the creature, whether he punched the tree or threw the tree down to, to try to hurt. Well, we don't know that as of yet. But it just blew me away, totally blew me away, okay? And you actually see it. And you see the other two creatures on the other side. This is an ongoing investigation. Uh, we've verified the film. It has not been photoshopped. It is totally real. There's something over there. There's something. 
broke these branches off. Mushroom down. Let's put some things down. Look at the very end. So that was cut, it looks like. With teeth. Now that you know that you had this family pod up in that area, you know, the tree falling was the scariest part to me. And at that moment, I didn't see the soft spots. You know, I thought, you know, I almost lost my life by the tree falling off. So that was shocking. That, that scared me more than anything. But then when I realized that the soft squash had knocked the tree down, I started putting two and two together and I, I realized if they wanted to hurt me, they could have. So that took away a lot of fear from me. So after I realized that they could have hurt me, and they didn't, that aspect of fearing was gone.